Coming up on Mountain News this morning, some people in the city of Pineville are facing major losses after strong storms tore through the city. And people in one Leslie County community are raising money to help out a retired teacher who lost everything in a house fire. Plus, a bourbon aging warehouse in central Kentucky is destroyed after catching fire, taking thousands of barrels worth of bourbon with it. Dedicated to eastern and southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, I'm Connor James. The time is just about 5 o'clock this morning. Let's check in with Brandon Robinson for a look at your 4th of July forecast. Brandon, good morning. Good morning. Happy 4th of July, Connor. Happy 4th of July. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that, yeah, I took you by surprise there. You're not awake yet. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, we'll give you a few minutes to get the coffee in you this morning. Let's head on over to the forecast, and we can see that there is some patchy, dense fog across parts of the area outside the WIMT studios here in Hazard. We're going to continue to see that throughout the course of the morning. Listen, I'm getting feeling more like Bill Murray and Groundhog Day once again because it's the same old repeat forecast. Yes, if we hear, start hearing I got you, babe, on the radio, I'm, gonna, I'm literally going to uh, run away. Looking at dense fog across parts of the area this morning close to zero visibility. Light pinpoint Doppler radar, a few little spotty showers down into parts of southern Kentucky. Temperatures right there in those mid to upper 60s close to 70. So you're out the door forecast again, some patchy dense fog this morning and scattered showers and storms again this afternoon. The full forecast is on the way here in just a few minutes. Connor. All right, thanks, Brandon. Major storm damage in downtown Pineville yesterday afternoon. A storm da damaged several vehicles, including city and personal trucks. A mobile home behind City Hall was destroyed, along with a few other homes. A local business also lost its roof. Thankfully, no injuries were reported. Pineville police responded immediately. City workers stated started clearing the downed trees after the storm blew through. They're going to be out working throughout the night periodically. They may take breaks to do other stuff due to damage in other parts of the city, but I would say it's going to be a couple day event. Pineville had to cancel the 4th of July festival they had planned for last night. They did have fireworks yesterday evening. A pool party and cookout is still planned for today. And a bourbon warehouse in central Kentucky is destroyed after catching fire Tuesday night. Look at this video. Those are ground shots from Tuesday night in Woodford County. Fire officials think a lightning strike sparked the fire. They say it was so large it took them hours to contain the flames. Runoff from crews spraying water onto the fire got into a nearby creek. People might see some discoloration in the water, um, but Division of Water tells me that most of that is uh, ash from the fire okay. as opposed to straight bourbon on the water. The Kentucky Energy and Environmental Cabinet anticipates a substantial amount of fish will die. A spokesperson for Jim Bean's parent company says the warehouse held pretty young whiskey and it won't hurt their supply in stores. She served as a school child. She served school children for years. Now a Leslie County community is helping her. A fire last Thursday burned former teacher June Begley's home. Now a fundraising effort is going to help her and her family. WYMT's Will Puckett has more. It is a scene no one ever wants to see. She hates that she lost everything. Their house reduced to this. With the ash, me and my wife stopped there last night. Ash and dust. Find out that they lost everything, then that was just devastating. Only metal and pans stick out amongst the rubble. The small remains of things that once signaled normalcy, a life when all was fine. And that's what we're here for as a church to help our people. Kevin Napier is the pastor at Couches Fork Church of God. The church where June Begley is at every Sunday. Now they are working to help a woman who has been so kind to them. A time like this, you can see who your real friends and who really loves you. And she, she told me they were some people that she was never expecting to just step up and, you know, just show the love to her. Eastern Kentucky, we seem to always answer the call. And that's what those who knew Miss June are doing. First John chapter 3, verse 17, where it says, who Whosoever has the goods of this world and they see their brother in need and they shut up their bowels of compassion, how can the love of God dwell in them? A simple show of compassion for a woman who did the same for years. She's a great person. She's a retired school teacher and she's, she's really a great person. She loves kids. She loves, she loves being in church. She loves her family. And never expected a single thing in return. 
in Leslie County. Will Puckett, WYMT Mountain News. The church is holding a pulled pork fundraiser on Saturday the 13th starting at 10 a.m. You can donate money or drop off supplies to the medicine shop in Leslie County during its normal business hours. A man accused of killing a hiker on the Appalachian Trail is not competent to stand trial. That's the decision from a federal judge in Abington, West, in Abington Virginia on Wednesday. 30-year-old James Jordan is accused of the stabbing death of Ronald Sanchez Jr. back in May in Wythe County, Virginia. Investigators said a female hiker was injured in the same attack. During Wednesday's competency hearing, the judge requested Jordan be sent to a medical center in Dallas in an attempt to restore his competence. And state troopers say they found a missing man's truck not far from an unidentified body. Officials say the truck belongs to this man, Adam McCoy, who has ties to Floyd County. Less than one mile away, troopers say they found a body. Troopers are not ready to say if the body is McCoy's. They are waiting for dental records from the medical examiner's office. No fall play is suspected at this time, but it has not been ruled out. And a Somerset man is behind bars on charges of murder. Police say this man, 63-year-old Thomas Burton, killed 73-year-old Irvin Phillips on a road rage incident back in June. Burton claims he was protecting himself after Phillips poked Burton with his cane. Burton was taken to the Pulaski County Detention Center. Well, thanks for getting your day started with us here on Mountain News this morning. Coming up, several Eastern Kentuckians gave the gift of life this week right here at WYMT. And you may have to dodge some showers and storms if you're out and about today for the 4th of July on the latest forecast in about three minutes.